Somebody shout, Lord. We sit down on the head of your enemies and on the head of every player. Praise God. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, please, uh, this is a very, this is uh, a youthful gathering. The definition of a big boy is not known in your quietness and silence. It's known in your exuberance. That's why they call, they say youthful exuberance. Where youths are gathered should not be a quiet place. So when I say raw, you know as our occasion, our custom is, if you don't respond, you will drop something. Somebody say raw. All right, tonight, how to know a player? How do you know a player? And uh, some people think that uh, it's only the ladies that are casualties of players. But we've seen much more that guys are also casualties of players. That some, please, uh, whatever it is, let's ensure that nothing shakes or distracts. That someone is hanging around you doesn't mean you guys are in a relationship. You know, I've seen a lot of videos uh, where a young lady will meet a guy for the first time and then follow him home. They now have sex. After the sex, you ask her, ask him, so what are we now? We are Mongo Park. <laughs> so you that is asking, what are you? <laughs> you know, some ladies think that by, you know, sleeping with a guy automatically means that you guys are in a relationship now. And they ask, so what are we now? Praise God. For some people, the girls, they are only interested in chopping your money. They're only interested. They care less, you know, how you get the money. They care less how you spend it. We have so many series on relationship. If you want to know more, you check our page on YouTube, The Mandate Channel. you get as much, starting from April last year, every month we have been deliberating on the matters that borders relationship so one night is not enough to be able to you know do great justice to this issue that is causing havoc everywhere they said in the christian faith there is about 40 percent divorce rate 40 percent these are people that speak in tongues and them you know i've seen situations where a guy disguised himself joined deeper life church doing everything because there's this lady that is doing very well that he wants to marry and the pastor will deceive the pastor deceive everybody deceive everybody so it's important you are equipped with knowledge praise god so you see a girl that is a player he's not interested in how you get your money he's not interested I know one or two, you know, some boys that it is very clear the source of their income is not, is not a street. In fact, we have been moved to believe that they don't just do, you know, 419. They are, they are, you know, also ritualists. But you see ladies in their numbers trooping in and out of their house. They don't care how you get your money. They are not interested in you. And you see the guys, they are not also interested in you. They are only interested in chopping you, as they will call it. They are, I don't chop that one. I don't chop that one. They count numbers. A young man told me that he has slept with over 1,500 girls. A child of God, tongue talking. You know, they move from church to church, appear as good boys. They are, 
their assignment is to count the number of girls they have slept with in different locations. He said, he said, he, even as he was standing with me, a young lady will start passing. He, he, will, he will forget himself. <laughs> even as he's standing with me. You see him where he's play, praying. You say, Jehovah God is here. But his prayers doesn't reach, you know, there are hemispheres around his territorial occupation that <laughs> the Holy Ghost doesn't touch. So these kind of people are not interested in you. They are not. However it is, both the player and the player always suffers at the end. You know, what the player always thinks is that why I have to say this is because for some of you that are players, you think that, okay, you have played her, you have played him. You also suffer at the end. I've seen a situation where a guy thought he has played this girl and uh, finished, finished his uh, marriage, blocked the girl on every platform. And somehow, somehow, the girl is not a normal human being. She got to know about his wedding and arrived there that day with a gun. It's true life story. Arrived there with a gun. You have anything to say? I have something to say. He came out, shot him, bah, shot herself, bah, and both of them died. The player has been played. <laughs> and the player, the attitude of the lady couldn't handle the heartbreak. So most of the times, both players and players are affected. Let me take for instance a lady you don't want to equip yourself with the knowledge about players so you end up being a nice girl you say okay if you are nice to him maybe he will change at the end of the day you get played and now you don't have advantage of time is someone following me so you you it will haunt you it will wound you so that's why it is important you equip yourself with the knowledge about these things so that you don't end up crying because the player and the player always gets hurt now the player will think i have played i have played you can't be a player and end up in a good marriage it's not possible do you understand what i'm saying it's not possible for you to be a player and end up in a good great marriage and happily ever after it, it cannot happen that is why you must abstain from these things. If you want to play, go and look for your football and play. If you want to play, go and look for volleyball. There are a lot of things to play. There is PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5. Go and play. Go and enjoy yourself. Don't play with people's hearts. Don't play with because you don't know. People's, people are different. Some are very delicate. Some are delicate than others. You don't know how delicate one is and their reaction towards things. There are people that they have served breakfast and they went mad. There's a lady I know. They broke her heart. She went mad like she became mad. She will come on Facebook and be typing unnecessary things like things that doesn't add up. And you are seeing literally she's, she has gone crazy. There are some that can't take it. They can do crazy things. So please, don't play with people's hearts. Don't play with people's hearts. Like the young man that said, yeah, the girl is in love with me. I'm not in love with her. So you stay there and you chop everything that you want to chop. Everything she's giving you, she's recording it. When you pay, it's coming. Praise God. It's going to be interesting. So let's uh, buckle your seatbelt and sit tight. Ephesians 5 verse 14 to 16 i would like to read message the message translation wake up from your sleep climb out of your coffins christ will show you the light okay move on so watch your step use your head 16 make the most of every chance you get these are desperate times. Tell your neighbor, say, these are desperate times. These are desperate times. 
and you know like they used to say desperate people do desperate things these are desperate times desperate times i know a young man that went for the you know what, what are they calling an introduction has gone to a lady's family that she wants to marry but now she and the lady agreed that there is this other lady that has money she should just give him time let him marry her fully she married her she went and married this other lady the lady is doing very well has money the parents have money so she showed her love and pretended perfectly but it was an agreement between two people that she will marry her get everything that she has and will dump her it's an agreement it was an agreement desperate times desperate times even you sometimes you see the way desperation can move you to do some certain things you now that is looking at me as if you are innocent desperate people do desperate things the bible tells us he said you should use your head make the most of every chance you get because these are desperate times desperate times players aren't always obvious at first glance one thing you should know about players is that they are not always obvious the moment you see them because they are they are they are actually very nice they are actually very nice they are not the moment you see a player you won't say this person is a player on most occasions they will appear very sincere very very nice in fact most of them look fragile and harmless they look as if you, you you should be the one pitying them you should pity them in fact you should sell everything you have and give them they are they look most times they look like that they look like they will never hurt you sometimes they look like that they are experts at deception and that's the reason they are so good at winning and breaking hearts they are experts at deception therefore they are very good at winning and breaking hearts they know how to win your hearts and then blend it blend crush it like you are now wondering what did i do to you my friend you don't understand you haven't played some people can even bet to get you some people can even bet say this babe i must get them make we bet and you don't know that you you are under a bet they have put you they say this one will get him and they have bet they have naira bet <laughs> so therefore guard yourself against their charms guard yourself they have good charms they have powerful charms and how do you do this by identifying them through these qualities so very quickly tonight how do you know a player how do you know a player a player number one a player dances to your fantasy and never engages your purpose a player he dances to your fantasies and never engages your purpose never never anything that will make you happy is what they do even when wait, even when you do something that is obviously irritating and annoying they will look over it and tell you it's okay it's all right it's all right because they are not interested in your purpose they are not interested they dance to your fantasy oh let's go here it's all right let's do this it's all right you you they notice you like someone that calls you often they will call you often they will call you and call you now if you were in a serious relationship you start telling this guy you don't call me you don't call me you don't call me you have found someone that is more caring because they are trying to dance to your fantasy obviously you are very lazy obviously you don't have anything to do so they engage you by dancing to your fantasy they waste your time they become very nice and don't engage your purpose a player doesn't ask you 
you know, there are, there are some kind of things they don't ask. They are very nice people. Very nice. That's how you know them. He knows just exactly how to make you feel good. A player knows just exactly how to make you feel good. Feel good about the relationship. He knows where to touch you and there are some electrical sensations that runs from the sole of your head to the crown of your feet. Is it the sole of your head to the crown of your feet? <laughs> no, they, they, do, they always do the reverse. <laughs> they know how to send. They know how to. Do you know why? Because obviously, if they are guys, they have been with many ladies. So they have studied the art of things that make ladies happy. They've, they've studied very well. So they mastered it. Now listen, it's not as if that uh, when you meet somebody that you that you people, you know, tally together, that those things won't happen. No. But it simply tells you that you shouldn't be quick to just give in yourself completely when you see these things. Because they know, they just know the right button to press. And they will always press it. Are you following me? Players are very nice people and they know their game very well. There is just something about the way he smiles. It's just something about the way he smiles. So every moment with him is heaven. Heaven on it. Oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven on it. You are gone. <laughs> you are a gunner. <laughs> See, there's, a just, there's just something about his mind there's just something about him there's something about her there's just something as, you, as, as there's just something know this thing but still take it easy take it easy take it easy with the way you give in your heart is someone hearing me because players are masters at their game the thing about them is they have been with plenty women they have been in plenty relationships so they understand their game perfectly this is just just like one of the reasons you know there are some i've met some ladies that told me that in fact they are tired of young boys they like married people now not 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 that they want to scatter the man's marriage but they just like the way married men treat young ladies if you have been there let me see here. yeah i've met a couple of them they like just the way married men, because married men knows how to take care of a woman. They know. So some of them just enjoys being around them. Nothing you do to a player is ever wrong. They are not concerned. They meet you. You're a lady. You smoke shisha. It's okay. Ah, give her two shisha. <laughs> He said, do you have eight cousins? He said, bring 16 cousins. Give her, let her take. A reasonable man will take you out. And you say you want to drink good. And, and, and you say, bring her. A reasonable man. A lady. I know there's something wrong. We go out now, I'm drinking malt. And you, you, you say, bring... <laughs> There, there must be something wrong somewhere. Of course, almost all players, you know, take alcohol. Yeah. Almost all of them. Uh, there are some still people that don't take alcohol that are players. But I say almost all take alcohol. Uh -huh. I'm not saying all, people, all the people that take alcohol are players. That's not what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But I'm saying almost all players take alcohol. But there are still some that don't take that are still players. So you can't, you don't just meet somebody and look at them by one quality. You say you pick out one quality and see they are very nice. You say he's a player. You can't be this nice and not be a player. No. <laughs> you can't just meet somebody and say you just meet someone like me. And and I'm just nice for just being nice. I've met ladies that started loving me, like seriously loving me. Just because I'm a nice, just I'm just nice. Nice guy like me. 
<laughs> a girl started quarreling my wife for quarreling my because she felt I love her. I, I just love you with the love of God. She was not feeling fine. I said, I mean, oh wow, you are not feeling. I brought out two thousand, gave her go and buy drugs. We've never spoken for the first time before that time. So she felt okay. Maybe she has. He has been eyeing me, eyeing me, eyeing me. So this is opportunity. But I was just being a nice guy. So you don't say expressly that once you see a nice guy, that means he's bad. No, that's not what we are saying. There are other, you know, things you have to also look out for. But one of the measurements of a player is that you have one of the things. My wife, she gets confused at times when we were dating. Is she? she he said, the way you shout at others and correct others, you, you, why, why, so why are you, why are you so nice to other people? But if it is me, you frown. Why? I said, because I will live with you. I said, because I will live with you. Whatever I cannot condone in marriage, I can't condone it now. So the moment I see it, I strike, I very, very sharp. I tell you, don't do this again. Don't try it. Don't do it. That's why you come into my home. It's autopilot. Everybody knows what to do as and when have to do it. Are you following? So you don't be a nice guy because you are trying to woo a lady. You are trying to woo a lady. You are trying to make her feel that. No, that's not the way. Guys, are you hearing me? I'm not saying you should beat somebody's child to tell her that you are not a player. He said, Pastor said we should correct anytime I see something. <laughs> you are not her father. So you now bring Cain to spank her. Tell her that you not tolerate nonsense. No. Correct in love. Every correction that passes verbal correction, you should keep it. Just keep it somewhere. Praise God. So, but these players, they are always happy with everything you do. You smoke, it's okay. You drink, it's okay. You don't go to church. And my wife, no. No. I can meet you and say, oh, why were you not in church today? You say, oh, I was tired. I say, yeah, oh, child, try to take some rest. But my wife, then, even if you wrote exam Saturday midnight, and you were writing it till 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning, you must go to church. You must go. And it's a big problem. It's a big, it's a big problem. If by any means you miss any service, because I already know I will be a pastor. At that time, I was not an ordained pastor. But I already know. Our job, our job is to be in church. That is, abide in church. My first child, the day she delivered, the day she delivered, she was in service. It was a Wednesday service. We finished service in Mr. Ken's house during Corona. Finished service, went home. There is no day my wife missed service because of pregnancy. No day. I trained her. Are you following what I'm saying? I trained, I told her on time. And she trained her mind and readjusted. This one, we finished service and we went home. We went home. So there is no service she has. She has never missed till the night moon. The Friday she gave birth, we went to the hospital. She came here, we were in church here monitoring the work that was going on. And when we were done, went home, she started feeling it. We went to the hospital. And she born in the night. And that was it. So when I hear him, so you don't, things you can't tolerate in marriage, don't tolerate it now. Don't tolerate it now. You see a guy, he's doing this one, he's doing that one. He say, okay, he will change. Let me inform you, men don't change. Men don't change. People generally don't change. So be careful when you are dealing in a relationship. Praise God. The reason why these people behave like this is because they are not interested in you. They are not interested in you. These people make you feel so happy, but yet are more interested in their pleasure other than your future. Players are more interested in their pleasure other than your future. These are players. They don't care about your future. They would rather you people go and swim and drink on your exam day, say, don't worry, we will sort the lecturer. That's a player. He said, we will sort, we will sort it, we will sort it out. They would rather you people stay at home and watch video game instead of going to church. That's a player. That's a player. 
He's not interested in your future. He's not interested in your future. Because if you cannot allow me to serve God, I don't think my children are safe in your hands. I don't think so. My children can't be safe in your hands. What will you teach them? You think it's money that trains a child? You think it's money? It's God. It's God. It's God. So anyone that cannot allow you move around, do things, fight for your future, that person is a, is a player. The player. He has an assignment. And that the first assignment is his pleasure or her pleasure. Baby, I'm trying to put this money together for to further our business. He said, um, me and that business, who is more important? You are a, you're a fool. A fool. A fool. The business is more important than you. Are you understand what I'm saying? Because if the business fails, you leave me. Somebody shut up. If the business fails, the lady will find the next available guy that knows how to remove dollars and take you for vanishing. You are here doing doing. I saw a man, and they said that ten thousand you want to send to your girlfriend. Send it to your mother. <laughs> a guy has that. The 10,000, I borrowed it for my mother. <laughs> he borrowed it from your mother. A lady that will allow you borrow money from your mother to give her is not interested in you. A lady, no matter how cogent the need is, that will allow you to borrow money from your mother to service her needs, is not interested in you. Doesn't she have a mother? Does she not have a mother that she should borrow from? Because if your mother has enough money, she would have set you up. She would have given you what to use and build us herself that you don't need to borrow 10,000. But this lady would rather you collect the 10,000 and give her. She's a player. You wait, quiet. Don't be in love with a player. It's a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing. We said the player is only interested in their pleasure not your future a perfect example is like the relationship between delegates and aspirant <laughs> perfect example perfect example is the money for them the money for them and the aspirant is your vote for them the the aspirant is not giving you the money because he loves you he needs your vote to get what he wants are you following me? It's just like a guy that is giving you money to sleep with you. The money, that money is, is, is payment for service rendered. So he, he gets angry when you are not rendering the service. You understand what I'm saying? After all that I've done for you, we are, we are still coming there. Gradually. Somebody say gradually. So it's payment for service rendered. You are the service rend lender. You are, you are rendering service to him or her. To him or her. Disclaimer. That he or she makes you feel so good, like I said before, doesn't mean they are players. So you need extra, you need wisdom to be able to decipher. And by the end of today, I will tell you what to do to be able to stay safe in the hands of people of course you know that the one is a player today can be a good husband tomorrow it's just that maybe they are not ready to settle down and it's a terrible thing to settle in what is not settling you hear it bring an offering the moment you hear anything bring an offering 
Amen. They are quiet now. I'll be collecting the offering. Once you say, I hear it, I'll come and collect it. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to settle in what has refused to settle. You are waiting for a guy for 10 years. You are waiting for a guy for 10 years. And you say, baby, wait for me. I'm coming. He has gone. <laughs> he has gone. Please, don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody more than six months. Don't wait for anybody. As a matter of fact, don't let anybody engage you that is not ready to marry within the space of six months. Six months. No engagement should pass six months. You, don't, you can't try it in Domino Chapel. You can't try it. The moment you are engaging six months, max. Six months, max. You say, I'm, I'm, I'm bearing his ring. I'm bearing his ring. Yes, he come. Say, gradually. Gradually. I don't want to serve it. I serve you breakfast very fast. So it will be to cause rapid in tracula in random motion. <laughs> Praise God. You must understand that everyone around you has a special assignment. Everyone. Everyone. Some people have turned friends into players. Some people they by their own self turn their friends into players these guys are just comfortable around you all of a sudden you start catching feelings and because you catch feelings you now expect them to catch the same feeling with you are you hearing what i'm saying some of you are the ones that turned some people into players it will not look as if the person is a player but you are not supposed to catch feelings the guy is just a nice person but you said you you concluded in your mind and told yourself that the moment you sleep with him he will start loving you and therefore he will enjoy the moment and leave you and go and find miss right is someone hearing me come on say raw the second way to identify players this person is not interested in bonding he's interested in bedding you this person is not interested in bonding he's interested in bedding you they are not interested in bonding anything bonding no no everything they are doing they will be reminding you after the reggae play the blues let's take it again you know my after the reggae play the blues Everything they are doing is uh, that once they finish, once we go to the choice, you know where next we are heading. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me. Talk to me. As they are buying the food, they say, "Babe, this night will be hot." <laughs> People can't go to the choice again and eat and go home. not interested in bonding they are not interested in bonding like if you meet somebody you need to talk with the person again and again and again and again and again and again know his direction know his desires his purpose his likes his dislikes know his passion knows his love for god whether if you are a nominal person in church don't marry a spiritual person just marry another nominal person you know these things by talking so that you know so you know have problem in your marriage no problem you don't like being in choir you don't like being a, a very dedicated in church you just like coming and going but you now come and see one choir member and now come and tell her i'm your husband i'm your wife that, that you must come back to this house by this time as if you didn't know that she was dedicated they are not interested in finding out these details what they know is a uh, after the reggae played the blues so babe this night will be hot. Will be hot these are desperate times desperate times for this person nothing goes for nothing 
Nothing goes for nothing. You see a girl who tell the guy, where is the money now? Where is the money now? Oh, I'm having, I'm having hard times. He said, after, after sleeping, when you were sleeping with me, he didn't know that these are hard times. And they say they are not prostitutes. They are doing hookup. Somebody say hookup. It's hookup. One girl was doing hookup. They, you, you, they hooked her up to somebody in Delta State. And she arrived. Then she entered. He said, who are you, you? And it was his, her father. Angela, what are you doing here? Daddy, what are you doing here? Hook up. As the my latest friends told me that uh, they don't do dates, they do hook up. It's in between me and my friends. <laughs> so some people don't do dates now, they do hook up. So just know now please hook me up. Hook me up. Now any guy, any any hot chicken babe that around now. So they do hook up. It's all hearing. Nothing goes for nothing you want something i give you something it's not prostitution i give you something you give me something everybody's happy everybody's happy some people will say it took six months to sleep with him let me tell you he just hanged around for six months to sleep with you he just hanged around for six months you don't know that some guys can wait for you for two years to sleep you, you don't you have no you don't know some guys can can wait two years they will still they will after sleeping with you say ah, i waited i texted him i tried him i played hard to get hard to get hard to get and finally finally <laughs> you'll be played you'll be played dead. they just hang around just hang around you see them they will not they're not calling you once they see you ah you have forgotten me now it's okay i will do now you have you say i will not survive i will still survive without you say no now nah, it's not like that okay let's see let's see people now see and now so <laughs> somebody say raw <laughs> Some people actually bet the time it will take for them to get you. Some people, some people do bet. They bet and say two months max. I'll give you. I'll give you update. Give you update. Number three way you identify players. Players use these routines to hide other relationships. They use routine to hide other relationships. When somebody gives you exact time that you will come and visit them and go, they are playing you. Did you hear what I said? When you cannot freely call somebody now and say, Are you at home now? You say, Yes, I'm at home. Okay, I'm coming. And you come. They are running, they are running you on schedule. There is, you know what, what it means? They are, they are, Nkeji has 8 to 10. Chia Maka has 12 to 2. Then you now have 4 to 6. And Satan also deceived you in such a way that your time is time to be in church. So, and now this is the only time you can see him. So, you just have to miss church. God will have to understand that God will not marry you. So, you have to go and see a Maka that is running you on shadow. He has scheduled you for 4 to 6. The moment he sees o'clock, he knows that another shadow runs from seven to morning. That is not you. It's not your timing. He said, baby, I want to, there's a business meeting. There's something. I have assignment in this school. We have night class. So that you go. Now, am I saying you should go and sleep in somebody's house? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying all of you are being played and you're playing yourself. You're playing yourself. But when you cannot freely walk into I'm not saying you should just wake up and start going to somebody's house. No. That's not what I'm saying. You just wake up and say, Emeka, I'm in front of your house. Come and open the door. 
when you finish staying there, you go home. <laughs> stand there. When you finish standing, you go home. It's not my house you are. <laughs> if you want to come to my house, call me. That's okay. But then, when it has to be by shadow, know that they are hiding other relationships. When it has to be by shadow, and you must not interrupt the shadow. If it is four to six, make sure four you are arriving. And they will tell you, I'm, I'm a timely person. I don't play with time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't joke with time. My time is very important to me. Because my six, I'm, I have another engagement. They have engagement, actually. Somebody say raw. raw. When a lady uses things beyond her finances and obviously not from her parents, she's running you on shadow. Are you hearing me? Somebody say, I hear you. 5,000. <laughs> A lady is using things she cannot afford, and it's not her parents that bought for her, and it's not you. Hello, you are an assignment. You are you are being played. You are being played. A young lady told me it was she was dating someone, and then her ex was still buying her phones sending her money you know and somebody will say okay if she sends me money will, won't i take it my friend go and sit down there's some there are things you are not telling us that's how that's how he loves you good girl good girl her salary is thirty thousand, and her phone is eight hundred thousand. that she not buy he said i have good friends i know how to make friends make us she's a player straight ahead straight forward straight forward let me tell you guys oh guys you know guys are not that friendly we are not that good amen, amen. guys are not that i know us we are not that good we can give you some tips but there are some so, 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 a guy to bring out some kind of volume of money and give a lady my friend you're not telling us the truth your hair is three two hundred and fifty thousand if you like it you make up in the morning, make up in the afternoon, make up in the night. You want to go and buy water. You start making up. She's a player. She's a player. Because what makes some girls behave like that is because maybe they're in a relationship that they are not so sure about. So they have looked at you. You, are, you don't look like one that is uh, capable of. Uh, so they keep you on uh, on isolation center. So, uh, and still looking forward to other clients. Is someone hearing me? So when they use routines to hide other relationships, when they use routines, you know they are players. When there are specific times, you must not call or call them. And they get angry. If you fail to follow the shadow, you have entered one chance. Entered one chance. If he only messages and meets you at night, it's very possible that you aren't really his priority. If he only sends you a message at night, only, like in the day, you can't, you can't, you know, say hi. I'm not saying where are you now? What are you? All those kind of nonsense. You will know. You will know the difference. I'm not trying to confuse you, but to convince you. That when you see these things, you will know the difference. <laughs> so when they only message you at night or tell you we can only see at night, be careful. Be careful. Just, just watch them. Observe them. Don't conclude. Don't call anybody a player. But just follow them with wisdom. It's only wisdom you need. Just follow people with wisdom. And number four, when they are not ready to introduce you to people that matters, they are players. When they are not ready to introduce you to people that matters. I've seen a situation where a guy in a church engaged three ladies. 
in the same church in the same church i've seen now he said he said we will get this one he said but let us take it slow let us you know take it quiet don't uh, i don't want uh, you know when people now people are jealous people are very nosy people are all of those so let's just take it quiet till we will take them by surprise surprise us so as they are taking it quiet taking it quiet Ngeji went to pastor to tell pastor i just want to thank god i've been engaged he said oh wow wow what of the guy he said he said sir that at the right time he will come and meet you he said okay all right that's powerful that's beautiful blessing now went to pastor and said pastor i want to thank god i've finally been engaged glory be to god he said oh wow that's good what of the guy he said he said let's take it quiet that in due time he will come and meet you it's him that will come and... i just wanted to share the testimony the person looked at the ring it was looking like the same ring that he came, but it's okay it can be coincidental and makanan came he said wait who is the guy that who is this guy that engaged you who is the guy he said he said that he will come by i say i say i want who is the guy and it happened to be that it's, it was the priest <laughs> It's not this priest. <laughs> it happened to be that it was the choir master. <laughs> engaged one in our choir. Engaged another in usher. Engaged another in temple cleaning. Told all of them, let us take it. Let's take it quiet. Let's take it quiet. Bad guy. And you know this generation of course you know they are they are they are meeting in and doing things are doing things because that's the essence of the engagement i was listening to a man of god he said that one day he was teaching he was teaching in church very very free minded he just one he just the, the keyboard is he's just like solomon as he just he stature very small and young and looking sharp and looking very innocent so in the line of what he was teaching innocently he said somebody look at that guy now i'm not saying he's free he's free if he meets you he's free amen but are you free you know i don't, I don't really know <laughs> i don't really know but he just said you know, look at this our guy this keyboard is cool guy gentle handsome you look at him now you will not know that he has three children and he's carefully married the church laughed <laughs> hey church close three ladies follow pastor say but pastor was that really a joke was that really a joke because i'm wearing solomon's engagement ring It happened to be that Solomon left his wife and children in a quiet oh, men. <laughs> left his wife and children in a quiet and was playing keyboard in Portacot. Praise God. So when they don't want to introduce you, I'm not talking to those people who introduce you to people that call you our wife. No. It's not those group of introduction. That one no follow. When he has a pastor and doesn't want to introduce you to him, he's a player. When he has boss, the moment I met my wife, well, that, that was why my even my pastor started calling her crypto queen. She wasn't into crypto. I taught her, and then I started adding her to all my, all the guys I do business with. I started into. I told her, I told her, please add my wife. Please add my wife to your group. Please add my wife to your group. All my friends that matters knew my wife knew my wife but he's not introducing he's telling you let's take it low so some of you girls tonight may need to come and tell me sir um, i'm actually engaged so i will know how many people that have been engaged by one person 
Are you hearing me? When they are telling you, they are saying, let's take it quiet, let's take it quiet. And you, you don't want to appear desperate. So you are also taking it quiet. Why he's eating jollof rice and fried rice with indomie and egg? And now round it off with Jerusalem. Somebody say raw. raw. So it's a red flag. It's a red flag. I love you, but I don't want to make it public yet. He's a full-time player. I don't want to make it public yet. I'm not talking about the nonsense you people do. I, my, I never posted my wife on social media till we were married. My wife never posted me. So that's not what I'm talking about. If you say I'm the only one, post me. He will, he will block other people and post you. Are you following me? He will block other girls and post you. You are not there. You are the only one seeing yourself. <laughs> You are the only one seeing yourself. You, you block everybody. Post 50 of your pictures. You are there. Oh, oh. Hey, you are, you, are, you are sliding. You are smiling. You don't know. I played you. So it's not that. Not that. If he loves you, he will really you know, want you to meet some people that matter in his life. People that matters. Baby, I don't want anyone to know about our engagement. You say what? I don't understand. So the relationship has come to the point of engagement and he's still telling you he doesn't want anybody to know. I know a girl that was in a relationship. When I met the guy for the first time, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. He was not very excited. On my wedding day, I was, I was, I, I spent money, but I was all laughing and uh, like, there's nothing on earth that could stop me from laughing. I was so happy. But this is the girl I want to be with. This is the girl I want to, I was laughing. They say drinks, no day. I say, go and buy drinks. They say, this one, they say, go and buy surplus. They finish eating. The people that are served, food, carry, we are carrying food home. So I was happy. I was happy. I saw him, I said, something is wrong. It was later, she came back and was telling us that they didn't post, the husband, before their wedding, deleted all his Facebook accounts, all his, his, all his social media accounts. Deleted everything. And warned her seriously not to post his, post anything. He said, ah, why now? My, my, the day, my day, I should not post it. He said, you know evil people, my people are very evil. I don't want them to see any picture. She didn't know that she was being played. Like they were getting married. This one is not engagement. They were getting married. She didn't know. On the wedding night, as they were doing their honeymoon, tagging, tagging, people that snapped pictures and tagged her and tagged her, some of the other girls that he was in relationship with saw it. And they were also girls in church, the same church in another branch. You know, it's just like now, some people are here now, who we'll go to Abuja, they will start an Abuja relationship that is different from Calabar relationship. Hi, President, why are you laughing? <laughs> they will start an Abuja relationship that is different from Calabar relationship. So they say, say don't push any evil people, evil people. Obedient girl, she agreed. That night, as the girl, one of the girls saw it, called him, say, "What am I seeing?" I'm seeing. He said, "No, it's not a, that, at the, what you actually." She was. He was making this call in front of his just married wife. He was telling the girl that that uh, no, it's just, it's just an arranged something. It's just they are just trying to do something. It's not serious. It's not a serious marriage. Girl was devastated. 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 So be careful. When they are trying to block, you block, don't post, don't this one, don't this one, don't this one. Let's take it low. Let's take it low. Be very careful. You are under a heavy manipulation of a player. A guy just meets you and says he wants to marry you. 
or let us take things slow. Run for your life. He said, don't you believe in first at first sight? Is it first at first of love? Love at... See, the moment I saw you, I saw the heavens. <laughs> I just knew. Oh, yeah, my wife. Adam. I'm not here for a, I'm not here for relation. I just want marriage straight. I just want marriage straight. Hey, okay, it's all right. You might want marriage straight. Come and meet my pastor. Come and meet. You should have someone in your life that someone can always meet and check the person. We him. Another problem we have is that most times you people even come with a premeditated decision you have already taken. So what we are seeing or telling you will not even count. That's one of the greatest problems of pastors. We don't tell you this guy is. Are you sure? Pastor will become your enemy. If you have made up your mind, you don't want. Pastor is not saying, okay, I think this guy is good. You have already made up. Your, so, so just stay your house. Day or day. My day, my day. So when a guy tells you a lady, be careful. Praise God. All right, the fifth one. Players don't ask reasonable questions about you. Players, they don't ask reasonable questions about you. They don't. A player can be asking you how good you are in bed on your first day. You know I mean? How good are you in bed? Are you sexually active? These are, these are their concern. How many styles have you done before? Or can you do? Do you know elephant elephantiasis? Do you know elephantiasis? Do you know pneumonia style? Do you know? I am telling you the truth. Some of them know that. That's the kind of questions they ask. Irrelevant questions. They ask questions that will start making you, you know, start making. If you are a bad girl, you will now bring out your badness, and you people flow together and just deceive yourself and fool yourselves. That's a player. They don't ask you relevant questions. Okay, what are you on to now? What are you doing? What are your plans? What are this? What are that? What are this? What are that? What are this? What are that? A date is supposed to be a talking time. People have turned it into eating time. If people are hungry, it's okay to eat. But it mustn't be an eating time. Are you following? When you go out, it's supposed to be a talking time. Talking time. You are, you are, you are there to know each other. Because somebody has been living for over 20 something years and you just met the person you can't just know them by by they smiled at me they laughed at me and you say babe uh, 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 uh. hallelujah all right sit tight we are still enjoying the ride praise god somebody say raw so a player doesn't ask you reasonable questions they don't engage you engage you in sensible conversations they don't engage you in sensible conversations. They are not interested in sharing ideas, in rubbing minds. They are just looking for a way to do fast and cut all the corners and get straight to business. They are. And the sixth one, a player requests for immediate gratification for every good deed. A player, they request for immediate gratification. If I'm buying you stuff, you must balance the equation. That's a player. A player doesn't make long-term investments in anyone. A player cannot make long-term investments in anyone. I'm not saying you should go and be looking for people that will pay your school fees so that you, you know that they are not players. Are you following me? He said, to, to, for me to know that you believe in me, you have to buy me a phone so that I use it and study and now become somebody. No. A player, a, 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 you know, one that is not a player is patient in your growth system. They are patient in your growth system. They are ready to watch you grow. I watched my wife grew from just become, you know, I met her when she was in year one. You know, watched her. She grew in the knowledge of God. Entered the ushering, did her Dominion Academy and did, you know, I watched her grow 
to the point where for the first time, the first day she spoke in tongues in church, ah, it was powerful. I said, wow, this girl is growing. Another time they gave her devotional to take and it was, she was taking devotional. I said, man, this is fire. This is it. Are you following me? I watched her grow. I watched her grow. So a one that is not a player is patient. That's the kind of investment we are talking about. It's not a one that is always dishing out cash and dishing out cash and you, you are paying back in returns. No. Of course, a player will not wait for, for you to... A player will tell you, if you can't do it for me, I'll get it outside. Are you following me? The, it will look as if you people are in a serious relationship. It's a player that will tell you, if you can't do it for me, I will, there are so many people that want to do it with me. I'm just, I'm just holding myself because of you. That's a player talking. Player talking. How can a guy that said he loves you tell you that kind of thing? How can he tell you? It simply means they don't love you. That's just the truth. They just want to use you. So a, a one that loves you cannot tell you if, if you don't sleep with them, they will get it outside. They use what I also call love bombing formula. Love bombing. Do you know what is love bombing? Love bombing is to shower you with enough affection and gifts such that you feel so wanted and important that you only feel guilty at the thought of denying him or her anything they want. That's love bombing. They bombard you on your bad day, they will mesmerize you. These things are not bad. Are you following me? It's, not, it's okay for anyone to be nice to anybody. But these guys are doing it with an intention and you will know by their demands. You will know by their demands. And they get angry when you refuse. You yourself, you're already feeling guilty. You're already asking how will you pay him back? How will you pay her back? When a lady, when a lady, you are in a serious relationship and a lady starts giving you money, giving you money, say, um, don't worry, give you money to put in your business, invest in this one, invest in that one. All in a bid for you to love her back. All of those things are not healthy. Praise God. Praise God. Those love bombers can also extend it to your mother and friends. That's the dangerous one. You see your mother will see that. That's why you see some mothers, they will not be telling a, guy, a girl that is 18 years to marry a man that is 50 something years. He say he loves you and will take care of you. I am your mother. I know what is good for you. They have bombed her with love. They have bombed her. They know the strategies to use. They will bomb your friends. When, they, when you people go out, they will buy them take away and extra take away. And they take away that they will take away tomorrow. Enough, enough takeaways. So they will sweep your friends off every time they are telling you about it. Oh, more this guy. Oh, more if I have the slightest chance to be with this guy, I won't take it for granted. Any opportunity I have. So you, you are now on the on the uh, let me not lose this guy. Or this this goal that I have that only me see. You have bombed them with love. They can extend it and start making you feel guilty. Guilty. That you if you lose them, you have lost a treasure that can never be recovered. Look for valuables in people, look for values, not for gifts. If, a, if my wife was looking for what I would have given her, she would have lost me. Because even when she asks me for something, I don't give her. She says, I want to eat shawarma, buy her gala. And she will eat the gala with joy. And I took it. Back. And I took it. Back. She was using a rickety phone. The moment I engaged her, I, I bought her a brand new phone from Calabar here. I didn't tell her. I traveled down to Oka. I had the key to her house. I entered inside the house and stayed in the toilet and called her, where are you? I said, go back to the house. Somebody is waiting for you. 
she ran back to the house opened the door nobody was there ah uh -uh. nobody's here she was calling me i didn't come out and when she was you know still present her useless phone i came out from the toilet from nowhere <laughs> I traveled from Karaba down to Oka to surprise her. What can I not do for her? But she has shown me that those things are not her interest. She showed me. How will you be getting angry that I'm not, I'm not get buying for you what you can buy for yourself? How will you be getting angry? Am I your father? Am I your, am I your bank account? How can you be getting angry? And she's, she's seriously angry. Oh. Like, you are seriously angry. I did not pay your school fees. <laughs> and the guy will drop out and say, let me take care of her. Let me just, I love her so much. Let her just go. These guys are very nice guys, but watch out for love bombing. Watch out. They think they can make you love them by making people who are close to you to love them. That when people around you love them, that those people will now force you to also love them. So they keep bombing everyone they know around you. Keep bombing them. Keep bombing them. Sometimes they are not human beings. You know, because there is no person that makes money reasonably that throws it all out. Are you hearing me? There's nobody that knows how they make their money. Just, just, like, just like the analysis that is going all around now. You see, you can't make clean money and just carry 100 billion and dash out like that. It's not possible now. It's not possible. They showed us where one of the delegates, my candidate is P2B. If your candidate is not P2B, I'm sorry. But it shows us where he puts his money to schools. He goes here, he gives 100 million. He go here, you put infrastructures, you do things. This one, you just can't, you spend 100 billion on people just, just so that you buy food. And you think that person has your good at heart. Another one spent 10 billion. 10 billion. How much, how much, how much is Asu asking for? That you can't call, you say, just long, even before, long before your presidential question, you say, ah. This money is so small, I can handle it. Has to take. Take. But now you are giving it to just, just a few people. Just look at the number of votes, votes, the number of delegates in a nation of 200 million people. You say, ah, ah, yeah, ah, they are shouting, they are shouting for him, you are shouting for him. You can't make clean money and spread it all out away. It's what you know you stole it and you are, you are in a quest to steal more. You know how to steal so you need to be in the position to steal more that's what we are talking about any young man that is campaigning for any, any other human being you deserve to you have some AKs on there AK there but very sincerely and please for your information if you are here you don't have PVC even if you are two years old go and get one are you hearing me I'm already talking with the authorities to see maybe one of these days before the end of this month to see if they can come here and do massive uh, registrations. But before we finalize that agreement, because there are a whole lot of people clamoring for that also, go there and get your PVC. Please, please, let me do small analysis for you. I'm sorry for digressing, but it's important. We're talking about our future and the future of our children. The last election had there were 88 million registered voters. Are you hearing me? 88 million registered voters. Only 28 million voted. APC won with 15 million votes. PDP had 11 million. Other parties shared 2 million. In a country of 200 million persons. And it's not inclusive of the people that are go rushing to go and get their PVC. If they are deceiving you and telling you that this one has structure, this one doesn't have structure, this one has structure. My friend, forget that thing. 
the 50 the 60 million people that did not vote last year why did they not vote because they gave us two thieves to vote i did not vote 2019 i did not vote because who should i vote Zimbabwe or Atiko? Now this, this now, now they have given us the same people to choose between life, death, and destruction. And thank God for the for the courage of that young man, Peter. Thank God for his courage. I was in Anambra State when he was governor. I was there when he was governor. He tells you things in fact. And say he's, a, he's, he's the only politician that will tell you come anytime everything I do they are documented properly documented the houses I own I'll show you the documents and how they were bought so you go and check my house go and check anywhere go and check anywhere which of your politicians can do it somebody has 100 billion to scatter and you think that one will come in he will recover his money first and buy your, buy your children and your children, children, children. They say people we are going to get PVC. He sent dogs to go and disrupt it. And you think that one will give you a better home, a better Nigeria? Somebody sent dogs to prevent people from doing the right thing. And that one is the one that will do that, 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 that has our interest at all. Please, please, don't let anybody tell you the youths in Nigeria are over 100 million. The other hundred million is elderly people and their children and lame people paralyzed, blind, and are taking it. That's the truth. If we make up our mind, and by the time P2B wins it, all of us be in Labour Party, you can contest. You can contest in Labour Party, and all of us will still vote for you. You become a senator, you become a chairman, you become a councillor. People are here deceiving you. How many voters? Presidency, 28 million votes in a country of 200 million people. And they're deceiving you that they have structure. Which, which useless structure? In one night, we take over power. In one night. Your dream of being a senator will be actualized. Because what is it? It's votes. It's votes. And we can, the same way we voted him in, you, you will come out as a level senator, this one, that one, we will vote ourselves in and rule this nation. And they're telling you it's impossible. This one, that one, that Peter B entered the wrong party. Is all hearing me? Is anybody under the sound of my voice? Are you under the sound of my voice? This is also part of raw. I'm telling you raw. Is this not raw? It's raw information I'm giving you. You don't pay for it. So the last one. A player will use sweet tongue and emotional blackmail to get sex or whatever they want. They can use sweet tongue. You know you are an ugly boy. The girl will tell you, you are, you are so handsome. You are my you are my Tom Cruise. You will rub your head. They will, they will use tell you fallacies, tell you lies. You know you are an ugly girl. They say you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Hey, your head is blasting. Head is blasting. They can use sweet tongues. Sweet tongues. A girl can call you what you are not so you can do what her father cannot do. A girl. Sometimes they can even play hard to get. Manipulation. They do manipulation. Play hard to get. Okay, if you, if you want me to come, send me transport fare. And because you desperately want them to come, now listen to me guys hello guys any day you have to send any girl transport fare may your business crash sending somebody transport fare to come and see you eh? 
you just love the person you just love the person pure love it, it cannot be pure love it cannot be pure love yes i know that it cannot be pure love you desperately want to sleep with them that's why you send transport and she knows that's why she will collect it she knows and chop the money and maybe when she comes now she will not tell you so my period just came out oh when the player gets played my period <laughs> chop your money and some of them the moment you send the money they will, they will never pick your call again they will have an you. later they will now answer and say ah, if you know what happened that day my father died my mother now followed <laughs> tell you long stories but frankly speaking anybody any lady that sincerely loves you will do anything at her power to be with you see you it's not that you can't help out on one or two occasions oh baby i wanted to come around but I'm not having some cash oh sorry not that it's an attitude that when you want to see somebody you say you are in love with they must send you tea fair no 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 and the guy is comfortably sending it he's, he's not interested he's not he's not a lady that loves you sincerely will make efforts make efforts make efforts praise god guys listen when a lady tells you let me pray about it she doesn't really want you leave all those spiritual something pray about what we have been talking and up to now you don't know whether you want me or not say let me pray about it what are you praying let me see tell you the moment eve eve was already there looking at adam waiting for the moment adam said you are my wife he said she agreed she already knew that he was her husband so when a lady is praying about it when you tell her no she doesn't want you she's actually trying to use prayers to buy time to see if another person will come are you following are you under the vast sound of my voice <laughs> so there's nothing like that there's nothing like that pray about what that's why you need you can't jump in into a relationship you can't jump into marriage you should be friends and know each other so that when the proposal comes you already know whether he wants is a no is a no answer or a yes answer it's a no answer that's why you see a lot of drama people are dating then the guy plans a surprise proposal because we are together like we are together he even slept in my house yesterday for them and now I'm, I'm proposing and you're telling me stop this stop 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 what stop what and I've, we have been together so there's nothing like that the moment a lady tells you that nonsense that should be the last time carry yourself pride and go and look for another girl that wants you maybe when they have tried try 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 or tell the other guy and know that now discover the guy is not interested they will not come back by the time you, you come back i'm already married with two kids there is no one person written that you must marry no one there's no one person written that you must marry there's no one like that so you have choices and you have to make your choice praise god the guy can tell you if you don't give me i will do it somewhere else that's some of the things you see among players and the next thing the guy will do is they will start working on your mind they will start working on they don't used to talk to girls anyhow but all of a sudden now you now see he say hey mama how are you now oh you are looking so nice today can we go out and they are saying it so that you hear so where you are your heart is paining you it's paining you so now for them not to leave you and go and the mama is obviously finer than you Is anybody under the sound of my voice? <laughs> they start working on your mind. They start working on your mind to make you feel jealous. So by your jealousy, you fall. You fall. Don't fall for that nonsense. If they want a mabom, let them go. 
they want him above, let them go. Don't let anybody use manipulation and lure you to their bed. Don't let anybody. How do you protect yourself from players? In just a simple statement. How you protect yourself from players is live by principles and keep boundaries. Live by principles and keep boundaries. Let there be certain boundaries people don't cross. Let there be. Live by principles. Anyone wants to bed you, come and pay the price. Anyone wants this, come and do this. Anyone, if you want my money, you got to agree to be with me. If you want my treasure, you got to agree to take, go to the next level with me. You can't be saying you love me, you love me, and you can't introduce me to anybody. Live by principles. Have boundaries. Have boundaries. So that once the player just comes around, you know that this one is not a, is not an ordinary. And they will mind their business. Praise God. And most times, like I said, when I was starting, I said, some people sometimes are just your friends that may finally lead you to your husband. Is someone hearing me? This guy knows this girl. And is the friend of this guy that will finally marry this girl. Are you, are you under the sound of that? Is the friend of this guy that he will still bring to church later that will marry this girl. But you people are friends and from friendship now start sleeping together. You know, my wife has asked me countless times. Most of my mates in Oka, almost all of them chased her. Chased her. Almost all of them. No, it's a sincere chasing. Everybody wants treasure now. It's a sincere chasing. And at that time, I was here. She was there. She has kept asking me, you know, not that part, querying. But we just, sometimes we just talk about it. She said, what if I had slept with this person? What if I had slept with this person? What if I had slept with this person? And we now come back. Ah, oh, great. Pastor, great. What's up now? Mama Chi. What's up now? You know, as the winner. Just what if? The truth is that if she has slept with any of them, I won't marry her. Because they would have told me the story. Did you hear what I said? They would have told me the story. So this guy was to be the one that will introduce her husband to her. But from friendship, they started having sex. So even before the guy entered church, he has already told that that, that one uh, is well, uh, I beg you. So the their conversation will never get to marriage at all. But that was the one that was supposed to marry her two years after that. Set boundaries, live by principles. You save yourself a lot of stress. You save yourself a lot of stress. A lot of heartbreaks, a lot of heart blends, a lot of Juice. Is anybody under the sound of my voice? Yes, sir. Please rise to your feet. Yes, sir.